First of all, um, 80% of families in Gaza now rely on humanitarian aid. A what? 80% of families in Gaza rely on humanitarian aid. Or, 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 I didn't hear. Or what? 80% of people in Gaza rely on humanitarian aid. Why? Why? Yeah, because they have nothing. They had to an eat. opportunity. Israel left. There were greenhouses. But may I there were opportunities to develop an economy. The fact that they're all on goddamn welfare really shows something. They're in refugee camps. That's all self-induced. Be self-reliant. Build a state. Do something right. Work instead of going out and make rockets. I'm not feeling sorry for people who rely on the United Nations. Build a state. Do something right. Okay, I'm just... Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to move on to my question. Yeah. I'm going to move on to my question, if Please. that's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm a Palestinian citizen of Israel. Uh, my grandparents were internally displaced from Yaffa to Nazareth and from Ein Harud to Bisan, where um, my grandparents, uh, his land for Ein Harud was uh, confiscated by absentee property law, uh, despite being present by all means. And uh, now uh, there is a kibbutz on his land that uh, produces, I think, the most olives in Israel. Now, uh, I'm not the only one. 24% of uh, Israeli citizens are not Jewish. And um, now, please, I cannot please, marry... Please ask your question. We're running out of time. Yeah, okay. Um, what I'm trying to say is that Israel, by definition, and uh, is not a democratic state. You have the... the um, the right of return law that says that any Jew can return to Israel. You know that but I cannot hey, marry wait, somebody wait. from Ramallah without... You know that the Palestinian Authority has a right to return law? Is the Palestinian Authority a racist state? Yeah, but my land wait, wait, is in what, Jerusalem. What, 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 no, 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 no. Well, put that aside. The Palestinian Authority has a law of return. China has a law of return. Germany has a law of return. If there's one country in the world that is entitled to have a law of return, it is certainly the one country in the world whose citizens were murdered, six million of them, because no state would accept them. Palestinians are today accepted in many parts of the world. Now, the claim about property is a reasonable, is a reasonable claim. Uh, 800,000 Jews have similar claims in Yemen, in Iraq, in Egypt. Uh, over a million uh, Sudeten Germans have claims like that. Uh, Pakistanis, uh, Bangladeshians and Indians have claims like that. Cypriots have claims like that. But in every other situation, the refugees have moved on. There is in life a statute of limitations. We're 50 years beyond 1940, we're 60 years beyond 1948. Get over it. Move on. Build yourself a state. Don't live in the past. Don't live in refugee camps. The Jews who survived the Holocaust got over it. They don't walk around with keys to their homes in Poland and in Lithuania and in Yemen. They live in the present and in the future. The time has come for the Palestinians Look, to Look, I'm not saying this and I don't agree with what I'm going to say, but why don't I say that Jews move on from the Holocaust? They do. They do. They built a state. They won a Nobel. A woman won a Nobel Prize. Uh, 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 Holocaust survivors. Uh, you know, they're inventing, they're doing productive things. You know, the Palestinians tragically are living in the past. They're rooted in their refugee camps. It's not all their fault. It's not all their fault. Many of the other Arab states are using the Palestinians as pawns by keeping them in refugee camps instead of integrating them into the population. They're treating them as slaves. <laughs> Palestinians have grievances, but the grievances are only partly against the Jewish people. And by the way, I didn't hear the Palestinian grievances between 1948 and 1967 when their land was taken away when they were occupied by the Jordanians and when their land was taken away when they were occupied by the, by the Egyptians. They seem to be more concerned about being occupied and their land being taken away. And remember, there wouldn't have been a single refugee if the Palestinians had accepted the 1948 UN resolution. If they had accepted Israel as a state and built their own state, there wouldn't be a single refugee. The refugee problem is the fault of the fact that Arab states all invaded Israel. That's the truth, isn't it? So, on this note, Amtrak is not going to wait. Unfortunately, we have to cut the evening now because of the train schedule.
Ms. Wall, thank you very much, everybody, thank for coming. You. Thank you, Professor Griswold.